Well, this is the thing about prints. Prints early on destroyed the idea of what masculinity ought to be, which is mega, especially as I was 12, 13 at the time, it's mega to see Prince play with masculinity that way. Also, his bands were gender diverse, they were um, ethnically diverse. People didn't really realize or focus in on the time that all the equality you talk about, we talk about, it was in Prince's bands. It was in Prince's music, and he always put women at the forefront. Even the last time, not this last show, but the show before, he had two shows. He did the first show, the early show, with his new girl band, and then the later show was the Prince show. So he was always a part of building up people, but always did it by messing with masculinity. And he was so filthy that there was this idea of raunchiness and empowerment that, that actually resonated with us. And we knew what was happening, and we were only teenagers at the time. Prince put the emphasis back on the artist. So while everybody was acting like a corporation, like Jay-Z said, I'm not a businessman, I'm a businessman, Prince was about the art. So Prince was like, you can't own art, you can't own me. And he fought a system. And everybody loses when they fight that system, yet somehow he kind of won. He got his name back and he owned his stuff. Like that, that's the biggest thing about Prince is that you can take five or six different really important parts of the music industry and Chris was a, a Prince was a leader in every single one and fi like change his name to a symbol. That is incredible and everybody scoffed at him, scoffed at him for it. But then when the music industry collapsed around them, who wasn't, who wasn't lost? Prince. Prince does a concert. You go to your concert, you buy the ticket, in your ticket price, you get a free CD of his new music. That CD counts as a sound scan. Suddenly, Prince is charting, because he knows 15, 17, 20,000 people are gonna come see him. That's 20,000 sales a week. Now what if he does five shows a week? So he has 100, no one's selling records anymore, but Prince is. And he was never apologetic about his role in his own career. He never blamed anybody. He never, he never delegated to anybody. Whatever you needed to know from Prince, it was Prince. Um, and you could see it on stage. Like the relationship he had with the crowd the last four or five times I saw him is, is I'll put it this way. He named his tour Musicology years ago. If you're going to name your tour Musicology, it better be Musicology. And I walked out of that show thinking, it's the greatest music lesson I've ever had in my life. Prince did everything that you wanted in that show. He, like, he, he bragged and then he lived up to it.